Which insulation is more resistant to the heat generated by a simple 75 watt light bulb? Fiberglass or cellulose? We took a sample of each and created a simple experiment. Here we have two identical setups. The one on the left contains fiberglass. On the right, aged attic cellulose that's at least six months old. We then put a 75 watt light bulb in each for three hours. In less than 15 minutes, the cellulose began to smolder and smoke, while the fiberglass remained unchanged. After one hour, the cellulose was really smoldering. As you can see, it only got worse as time went by. After two hours, the smoldering had spread to every corner of the box, and the cellulose was completely charred. At the three-hour mark, the cellulose was nothing more than hot ashes, while the fiberglass showed no evidence of change. Throughout the experiment, we used a highly accurate infrared thermometer to measure the temperature of the insulation. After three minutes, the heat generated next to the light bulb was about even. But in less than an hour, the surface temperature of the cellulose was about three times that of the fiberglass. At two hours into the experiment, the temperature of the cellulose reached 361 degrees, while the fiberglass barely moved up from the original reading. On the drywall under the cellulose, the temperature was more than double that of the fiberglass drywall. When we finished, the light bulb removed from the fiberglass showed no visible side effects. The cellulose light bulb and fixture were charred and discolored. As it turns out, the on-off switch had actually melted and frayed wiring was exposed around the socket. Now let's take a closer look at the insulation. After digging around, we realized there was no cellulose left. It was all ash, even a glowing ember. And to make matters worse, the charring went all the way down to the drywall bottom, which was burned and cracked. Even the wooden sides of the box were charred. From the underside, you can see there was visible scorching actually coming through the drywall. As for the fiberglass, there was no settling, no melting, and definitely no burning or smoldering. We could even pick it up with our hands. The type of insulation in your attic is important. Attic fires may start because insulation is installed improperly around recessed lighting or from other heat sources like a dropped work light or cigarette. Cellulose insulation can lose its fireproof qualities over time. Is it really worth the risk?